Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. And today we have someone very special on the couch. We have Sarah. And what's your surname, Sarah? It's Wright. Sarah, Sarah Wright. Sarah Wright, yeah. who's also a hypnotherapist. So she's decided to join me today because we want to explain to people who might not have experienced hypnosis yeah. before what it's like, what it's to expect. Also share with you our own personal experience of being on the receiving yeah. end of hypnosis. So um, Sarah's a fantastic hypnotherapist and she's based in Liverpool. Her details will be below so you can click on the link and find her website for more information. Great. So if you just want to introduce them. Yeah, uh, yeah my name's Sarah Wright and um, I've been doing hypnotherapy now for about three years. Um, I just think it's a really easy and powerful way of overcoming phobias, fears or if you're feeling stuck in your life, it, it can be used for so many things. It can be used for relationships or just literally anything, mm, really health yeah. problems or yeah. anything really. Um, and obviously in my me, me own life, when I was um, in my thirties, I was suffering with depression and anxiety sort of on and off for many years. And I tried um, tablets and different things and counseling and things like that but nothing really seemed to work and I didn't really like taking the medication the counselor used to talk and talk but then wasn't I felt resolved. nothing the re nothing issue was wasn't resolved, resolved. no so yeah. I was thinking I, I just kept on thinking I'm, I'm never gonna get better really because mm -hmm. I'd, I'd have spells of feeling really good but then the depression would come back um, and then my friend said to me well go to this hypnotherapist and I was thinking oh I don't know but I, I was willing to try anything at that yeah. point I'd sort of tried everything else and when I went it, it was just amazing yeah it was so simple but straight away I felt the effects I felt more positive I felt mm. calmer the depression was sort of lifting and I thought this really works and mm. and then because it did work for me I then went on to learn hypnotherapy because I thought you know, th there's no medication involved. It it's really simple and it's so effective and powerful. Yeah. And that's why it, it, it makes me really excited that, you know, you can help people with, with such a simple yeah. method. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's been kind of like my similar experience and how I decided to add like hypnosis and hypnotherapy to my practice yeah. was because I had something not the same as you, but there was a particular issue that I just wasn't getting resolved yeah and I've you know they usually put hypnosis or hypnotherapy at the last it's the last resort isn't yeah, it yeah yeah <laughs> and that's what it was like, <laughs> like give me. it a go yeah, yeah. give it a go it was the last resort I've tried everything else and so finally I went to see like a, a hypnotherapist yeah and I didn't know what to expect um but it was just it was just it was just amazing the issue yeah. that I went with that I was suffering with for about six or seven years yeah with one with one session finished so it's, it's amazing it, it yeah. was, and I never you know had I known that before that would have been my first yeah. point and I realized with what I discovered was no amount of talking therapy was ever going to resolve that situation because in my experience we did them um, regression work yeah. And it took me back to a memory at the age of four that I had no conscious recollection of. Yeah, so you didn't even know that I didn't even know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I thought, um, this is happening to me because of something else. It had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So then I was fascinated, intrigued, and that's why I've added it to my practice, because I know how powerful yeah, it is. from your own experience. Own well. experience. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but do you think that therapists who've actually experienced their, their therapy, because I know... Um, lots of hypnotherapists who actually have never been hypnotized themselves. See, I find that amazing. It's, isn't because, it bizarre? And also, you know, you, you want your clients to know to know how they're feeling. So yes. if you felt it yourself, yes. then I find that bizarre, really. Yeah, it's but very like I say, strange. A lot of people do. A lot of people do yeah. that. But I do find that strange. And obviously, because of my own experience, it, it was so amazing that... You know, I'd had depression since I was 15. Wow, okay. On and off, just on and off. Yeah. And I really thought I was going to have that forever because mm. doctors and people I went to, they were just saying, oh, well, yeah. take tablets. And, thought, and that's it, that's tablets. it. It's just normal to be um, And then have more therapy. Well, I've had therapy. I don't want any more yeah. therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just telling me the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so then, then they say you're forced to look at other alternatives. Oh, yes. And it is alternative therapy, as yeah. it is. But... Yeah. It's, it's very powerful and it, it does work, you know, and 
it's it really and it's a really relaxing experience as well the actual process of it you feel really relaxed you feel great when you come out of hypnosis so mm. it's it's a nice experience as well yeah it's it's a nice thing to do yeah. and I, you know I, I just can't say enough about it it's, it's really really <laughs> cool so try it, it is. and it's from ex- and it's from experience because yeah. had I not had that experience myself I wouldn't have known how yeah. impactful and how powerful it was yeah so that's why it surprises me sometimes when people well, hypnotherapists who haven't been hypnotised, who haven't been through that process. Yeah. I don't know how they're really relating to their clients or if they have no. really understanding when... Yeah, it, it, that is strange yeah. because because I obviously I have experienced it and it's worked. Mm. You can relate to the clients and you know how they're feeling yes. and, yes. you know, what can happen afterwards and things just... And I think... And you know there's a way out. And it's not yeah, theory. You know, it's, I found a way out, so yeah, you can too. Yeah, that Definitely. is. And it is really simple. But I think some people are put off because hypnotherapy, like stage hypnotherapists, yeah. where they're up there having a laugh and around the stage. And I think they think, oh, well, I want to be in control. But you are in control yeah, always. because that's what I wanted to bring up. is about if you're feeling worried or any fear around hypnosis rather than hypnotherapy yeah it's like what I've experienced is well is it going um, are you going to make me cluck like a chicken yeah so from your <laughs> practice is that what yeah I mean because it's it's clinical hypnotherapy so it's you know obviously someone's come to you with a problem or a fear of phobia or whatever or mm. some people it's just relaxation or because it is a really relaxing thing yeah so it's I mean any hypnotherapist that you go to should let you Maybe if you were scared, just give you a five-minute little induction or a little relaxation okay. just to... I mean, I'd be quite happy to do that if someone was afraid. Yeah. Just to relax them, give them five, ten minutes of, of just how it's going to be, you right, know, and okay. just let them experience it themselves before going into it. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody else would be willing to do that, but I'd be quite happy to do that. So when you... Because some people might when not you have understand to ch- like a an, chat an before, induction. Yeah. What does, you know, for the lay person, what does yeah. an induction mean? I mean, so it's just really taking them into that, that deeper level of hypnosis, isn't right, it? Right, okay. Just relaxing the clients. Obviously, you, you do the pre-talk first to find out, you know, their history and what they're coming to you for. Yeah. But the actual induction would just involve, you know, it, it's just relaxation. Okay. Focusing on different parts of the body and relaxing them and getting to them that's into that state where they're completely relaxed. Mm. And then you can do either, you know, regression therapy, suggestion therapy, whichever works for them, depending on what they've come for. Yeah. But I mean with me, um I actually did just have suggestion therapy, but he did use a lot of visualizations as well, um, and a few different techniques. And um, so it was a few combined things that he used. But it it, it, it it worked, and he mm-hmm. sort of tailored it t- to me, and that's what you would do with your client. Obviously, whatever they need, you would tailor it to suit them yeah. and go through what was going to happen. And obviously, let them know that, you, you know, you are in control at all times. You're that's aware another big of everything. fear, isn't it? It's kind of, yeah. am I going to be out of control? Yeah. Because one, um, one of my clients, his fear was, well, if you do something, and will I be permanently in this state? Yeah. Is it going to affect the rest of my life? And he was like, I don't know what, what he thought. Yeah, I think people just, they've heard so many stories. Yeah, and they've seen the stage shows that you've yeah, mentioned. Yeah, and, and I suppose, but on the stage shows, they have to give their consent. And yes. that's important. You know, you've, you've always got to have the client's consent. Mm. So they're running around on the stage, but they've actually said, well, I want to do this. Yeah, so, because they've paid a ticket. Yeah. Gone they've to the gone event. In. They, they put the hand they've up. They put the hand up. <laughs> and they're, they're on the stage. And they so, know what's oh, going to happen, don't yeah, they? Exactly. You know? So they, they're up for it. Yeah. But it's like <laughs> when your client comes to you, you go through it all, explain it to them, see if it's, it's, if it sounds like it's going to be suitable for them. Mm. But I think, and I think once you've had one session, you mm. know what to expect. And I think yes. it's getting that one session that over one with. one session, exactly. And, the, and, the after, and afterwards, people are like, is that is it? That, is yeah, that it? It's it? true. Yeah. It's true. Is that it really? And you're like, well, yeah. What did you expect? But once you have that initial session, mm. you realise then, wow, yeah, I am totally aware. If someone came in the room, I'd hear them. Yeah. If I wasn't happy with anything that was going on, I could stop it. I could just sit up and wake up yeah. and stop it. Yeah. There's, you're totally in control, control. always. Because that's when people ask then, okay, so what about those who are on a stage show? Because it's the way it's presented is that the hypnotist is making them do something. Yeah. So they're not in control. So how would you 
What would you say about that? I mean, I would say they have given permission. Yeah. Before they've gone up and done that, yeah. they've obviously told them what could be involved, mm. what's going to happen, you could be doing this, you could be doing that. And they've given their permission. Yeah. If you're going into a show like that, you, you've given your permission. But with clinical hypnotherapy, it, it's, it's more of a therapeutic thing. So yeah. it's to help your client. And really, they're just going to feel relaxed. Mm. Obviously, if issues come up with it upsetting things from the past, you always say to them, are you okay to, to go on? You, you yeah. would never just let them be distressed or upset mm -hmm. and just let that carry on. Yeah. You would ask them if they're okay to carry on and say, you know, obviously this will help you if you release this emotion. But if you don't want to at this time, yeah. we can maybe try again next time or whatever you exactly. feel happy with so it, it's always what they feel happy with yeah you know you've got to be really you've got to be ready within yourself haven't you yeah and i often yeah, find that like we said before people have been down so many other routes mm. they're like I, I just need help the desperate this at this and point it's kind I, yeah, of i want this. i need the help yeah. and it does help and it can help and yeah it can help in like amazing ways you know yeah. it's it's it really is it's powerful. Really powerful yeah and so let's just talk briefly about people's apprehension and fears about doing hypnosis, which we touched on briefly yeah. because they've seen stage shows. Yeah. So what about when they're in hypnosis and they're being hypnotised? What have you found that the biggest fears are from people? Yeah, I mean, normally it's not being in control. Okay. But um, obviously after the first session, they do realise that they are aware and, you know, they can come out of it any time they want, really, because even if you're really deeply relaxed... Yeah. You know, even if something happened to the hypnotherapist, you would always come out of it naturally. You would just yes, naturally yeah. come out of hypnosis. You wouldn't be left there forever, you know. Yeah. Um, and you always are in control. And also sort of people are afraid of they might reveal their secrets, but you're always aware. So you, even under hypnosis, you are aware what you're saying and you wouldn't say anything you wouldn't normally say to someone really, yeah. you know, unless you wanted to. Yeah. If there was something you really didn't want them to know, mm. you wouldn't feel obliged to say it yeah. under hypnosis. Because people, I think people think there's a misconception about hypnosis. It's like, they think it's sleep. And it's so, you know, it's not sleep. You're not unconscious it, no. in any way. Um, you're actually more, you're actually more aware, really. Yeah, it's, it's it, very it strange does make to, you more aware, yeah, more it's, it's, alert. Yeah, it's hard, yeah, it's yeah. hard to describe, but everything, your mind is still there. You're, yeah. not, you're still you. All your faculties are still there. Yeah. So if you don't want to say anything, if something is, you know, you do want to keep a secret like your PIN number or whatever it is, you just won't say. Yeah, you would still be yeah. aware enough to yeah. know that you don't have to say that no matter how relaxed you are. Because yeah. you're very, very deeply relaxed, but aware at the same, the same time. Same time, yeah. And if there was something happened that you didn't feel comfortable with, you, you know, you could just say, you know, stop. At yeah, time and, exactly, you know. because that's another thing, isn't it, that we're, well, lots of people who've come to me are scared of, that they might do something or say something that goes against their religious or moral values. Yeah. And that wouldn't happen either. Is that the same that, from your yeah. experience? And also, um, you know, a good therapist would always ask through the session, are you okay with that? Am mm. I okay to carry on? And mm. if, the, if the client was uncomfortable or, you know, maybe something from the past was a little uncomfortable you would say are you okay to go on and you would always make sure mm. they did feel okay at any time and you can you know the hypnotherapist can stop it at any time yeah you know if they really felt i, I don't like this or uh, yeah. they didn't feel right you would just stop the session yeah. Yeah. so they've always got that choice as well yeah and as the as the as the client as well you've got that choice because yeah. you are still completely in yeah. control yeah if something wasn't right what well, something wasn't right for you you could you know you could just say stop this now yeah yeah but i mean that's that's never happened in my experience yeah and nor mine they've always after the first session said oh, it was amazing and mm. they're quite surprised that is that it is, is that it, it? yeah you know, because <laughs> it's just very deep relaxation and 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 no one think once you've experienced it knowing that you were in control yeah once you've experienced it and know that you're in control you, you feel better then yeah I think you, realize, you feel more relaxed then and you yeah. think you know it's not what i expected really exactly you get to realize certainly after the first time that yeah there's nothing there really is nothing to fear and i understand when something's unknown, you might feel a little bit anxious, yeah. a little bit nervous. That's that's normal. Yeah, that's yeah. normal. So that's okay, you know. Obviously, on the first time, but when you experience it, yeah, for yourself, yeah. and you've realised how good it feels because it does feel. It good. feels it amazing. Feels really amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to be in that state all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's such a relaxing, peaceful state, isn't it? Yeah, you, you know that. 
I'm sure you must know you have that chattering mind that's telling us should be doing this. Yeah. I need to go with that. I don't like that person. Look yeah. what she did. <laughs> yeah. You know, all those and thoughts. And that is stressful, and yeah. That's, that's what's that stressful. That constant chatter. That constant, the monkey chatter. Yeah. Always, or on your back. Always so just there. to have that stop is, is, is yeah. peace in itself, exactly. isn't it? It's, it's a lovely feeling, exactly. yeah. So it doesn't even have to be having any kind of really major issues. It's like if you're feeling stressed in your life. Yeah. And you just want to relax. Hypnosis and hypnotherapy is a wonderful way. Yeah. And to, to know that uh, you've always got that piece available yes. there that you didn't really know before. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And some people don't realise that because they're living, uh, like, I don't know if they're married, they've got family, they've yeah. got work, such they've a busy got life, life, such a busy life. Yeah. They don't have time for themselves. And I know that with hypnosis or when you're in hypnosis and being hypnotised, it's just time for you. Yeah. Just Which in a busy life, a yeah, lot of people don't, don't just don't take that time. Exactly. And I think exactly. in that sort of stillness is when your problems sort of come to the surface. Yeah, then, yeah. And they can be dealt with. Exactly. But in a really relaxed state. And, exactly. And I think it's you. You do feel so amazing afterwards and during mm -hmm. it as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if you do regression, you can go back to traumatic times, mm -hmm. but it's done in in a safe environment and afterwards, yeah. you know you do feel really well and it's a, it's a relief because you've released whatever it is that needs to be released yeah. so I think the main thing you feel is just a relief that, that that's been dealt with and mm. you can sort of move on then yeah, which exactly. is a nice feeling really which is a really yeah. nice feeling yeah because any, any stuff that's kind of lingering that's mentally or, or emotional kind of under the surface yeah it's, it's an opportunity, because you're relaxed, like you say, yeah. it's an opportunity to actually deal with it yeah. in a therapeutic session, a very professional setting, yeah. and release yeah. whatever those, you know, whatever that um, emotions are or that experience. I mean, I'm a big fan of, like, regression work. Yeah. Um, and I think you are as well. Definitely, yeah. because it really gets to the root of the problem. Yeah. And, and sometimes, like you say, you know things have happened in the past that you think could be the cause of the problem mm. but often it's not what you think it it's is not even what you th it's, i know it's shocking yeah, sometimes isn't it it can be something really minor and you think yeah. that's really yeah. causing the problems but it can be it and can be. it yeah. is strange but once it's released mm. and, it, and it is because if you don't actually know what it is it's a way because your subconscious mind obviously knows everything about yeah. you from when you were born mm. it could even be times you know sort of age one two when you, you don't remember those times yeah. or times you just you don't remember because you don't remember everything that's happened in your exactly. life exactly and there exactly. could be things that have happened you've just forgotten about exactly or pushed you know to the back of your mind and exactly. th when they come up and, and can be released and it it's 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 a good thing to know that you can move on then yes because these things are just sort of happening mm -hmm. without you even knowing yes but over time they do build up because over the years the more things that happen in your life as you get older it sort of builds up and I think you kind of using all your energy to push all mm. these emotions and things down mm. that it becomes harder yeah. as you get older because a lot got, more things happen yeah, yeah you've got life to get on with yeah and it's like okay at the moment I've got to pay my bills I've got yeah. to pay the kids and whatever it's going on that's your priority yeah. that's where your conscious mind is going to focus yeah and so the other stuff does quite literally get buried. Yeah. So things that have happened to you from two, four, eight, whatever. Yeah. They're sort of still lurking they're about. They're still yeah. there. And you can be, I'm sure you must have experienced times when, I don't know if you, maybe you've wanted to lose weight or something. And yeah. And rationally, we all know what to do. We all know what yeah. to eat and yeah. how much to eat. <laughs> but then you see that chocolate cake or that yeah. bounty bar, whatever your thing is, and you can't help yeah. but go for it. And usually that's the case of, from my personal experience, that there could be some like emotional issues around there. Yeah, where you're using the food to cover up the emotions. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the Comfort feeling, it's that, the feeling. Yeah, that you yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think that is a big problem as well, but with your subconscious mind, once you're doing the hypnotherapy, it's like you've got someone helping you then. Mm. So you do have that willpower then. Yeah. It, because once you change the beliefs and the thoughts on that deep level yeah, yeah. it makes it so much, much easier, easier then so whereas before you try something a couple of days you stop and that's once, just about using willpower yeah, isn't it you're trying to use it's willpower it's really hard but yeah. with hypnotherapy once you, and again you could be comfort eating 
for a reason that is not related. It, it could be something from the past, but yeah, you don't even realise you're doing it. You don't even realise you're yeah. doing it, exactly. And you're thinking, why do I keep I on doing do this? It. I should yeah. be able to stop. Yeah. Whatever whatever it is, your addiction, everyone's everyone's got like their yeah, favourite go-to. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Everybody has. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's chocolate, that's why I mentioned chocolate <laughs> cake. I love chocolate. <laughs> I think as well, in sort of modern life, when we've we've grown up we we do use things to cover our emotions because mm. we're not really taught to express your emotions yeah. freely or mm. you know in school stop crying stop don't be silly don't do that and it all gets pushed down yeah. Yeah. so you do use other things so you go home and you, you're crying your mum gives you some sweets and you go mm. so when you're older you use that yeah to comfort you because you know that made you feel good, good at five so if you're upset at 30 you use the same methods exactly, because, because you want to feel yeah good. and it's learned behavior yeah and I think hypnotherapy is really good because learned behaviour is so ingrained mm. and you do things you're not even thinking about it. Yeah. So once you use the hypnosis, it's a really powerful way mm. of, of putting new beliefs in place. Healthy, yeah, healthy, healthy yeah. yeah. That you yeah. know that you've always wanted to do but just couldn't do yeah, it yourself. Yeah, you do it yourself, yeah. exactly. So it is really helpful, yeah. yeah really mm. amazing. So that's important. So if you do go to someone, you know, make sure that you you do know it is going to work for you. Yeah, and you should be, even just from one, you should, even if it's only relaxation, you should be feeling something like you did. You said Yeah, each, definitely. Yeah. After the first session, I felt a difference straight away. As, yeah. as well as feeling so relaxed, as soon as you come out of it, you feel really good. Mm. And then as the days went on, I, I felt more positive. I felt I didn't worry as much. Yeah. I, I knew something was happening. Yeah. And then yes. after each session, I felt like again that more and more it was yes. things the symptoms were going and you were covering I knew more something was happening yeah. yeah and it was getting better each week yeah. yeah so that's really you should be looking for that as as a client yeah. you should be looking at your life is this what you've gone for them for yeah. is something improving is something getting better you might not get full and complete resolution in in the first session we're not saying that yeah. at all but at least I would say on each session there must be something of really good value that you're getting and you feel and experience a change in your life. Definitely, yeah. You and if, if you're that. not, I, I just would think, you know, if you've been at least twice and nothing's happening, then Nothing, yeah, you then. need to try someone else. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, you know, we've both been trained by the same teacher. Yeah. And obviously we know how powerful and effective it is. And the one thing that we do is that we do test just to make sure that yeah. they actually are hypnotized because yeah. I do know sadly um, hypnotherapists who have never experienced being hypnotized themselves and actually don't really know how to hypnotize someone Which and is it's, just, it's yeah. just crazy isn't it and so we actually look for certain signs certain cues to yeah. make sure as you do yeah yeah, yeah. and obviously because you can you know what level what depth they're at then mm. so if you're going to do regression you need to be at a deep level you're still aware at whatever level you're at you're always aware always aware, always in yeah, control always. yeah always but even at that deep level you can regress someone then they do need to be at a deep level and if someone's not testing how deeply you are yeah they're not going to know they're not going to know how could no. you know because you told me that story wasn't it of yeah yeah i was really surprised a girl i spoke to she said she went to a hypnotherapist who just put headphones on her she listened to suggestions. Was it music as well, just suggestions? Just yeah. suggestions, I think there was a little bit of background yeah. music and then he sat on the other side. When she'd finished, she took the headphones off and, and that was, was just it. amazing. Like, well, Did she go back? No, no. Oh, I thank God, oh my God. And that's well, the problem. There's some scary stories, so yeah. that's why, you know, when she, you do she go must to have been someone, turned off which yeah is, and then that puts them off going and oh i've had yeah. a bad experience but what we would say is, is don't be put off because there's a lot of good hypnotherapists yes. out there yes. but you will know because now that you know they can do suggestibility tests you'll know that they know what they're doing then yeah and straight away you get that belief if your hands stuck or your eyes can't open you think wow th th this is working yeah and know this is going to work yeah. and it gives you that belief yeah and then you know that something's happening straight away. Yeah. So if you don't get that, I would be a bit wary, really. Exactly. So that's what we're looking for, not only for our purposes, but for the client's purposes. Yeah. So you will know 100% that you were hypnotised. Yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, with the way that we do And that's yeah. really important because there's nothing worse if you had an hour's time and you spent your money, you know, these things aren't cheap. Yeah, exactly. And then you think, well, I wasn't even hypnotised. You should never be walking away from any session. Yeah, feeling that doubt. Feeling that doubt. There shouldn't be any doubt. No. No, not at all. And if you've had a session with, you know, with a really good hypnotherapist, you'll be in no doubt. You'll know, you will. You do yeah. know. I mean, it is 
very deep relaxation which we've you know most of us have experienced at some time but you, you just know because mm. you know if, if you can't move your hands your eyes are stuck or you've been regressed to a time and when you go back everything is really clear it's as though you're there you're there it's not you're, you're it's, there. it's not like you're watching television you're no. actually in the or experience. remembering something yeah. you are actually, actually in yeah. that moment you are there experiencing yeah. it again yeah and there's, there's no doubt in your there's mind there's no doubt no there is so no doubt so you definitely know something's happened mm. and you, you if you do experience something and then the emotions will come out because you you release it so you will be upset and mm. sometimes if it's an emotion that needs to be released you can be upset but, so you know, if, you, if you've got those emotions coming up, you're releasing something, you know you are. Yeah. You know, if you just had your eyes closed, just being relaxed, you wouldn't feel the intensity of the feelings mm. and, and what you're seeing. Mm. And it, it, you do see it really clearly and you feel you the emotions, feel the emotions as intensely. Well. So you know, again, that yeah. that's, you know, you've had that experience yeah. then. Yeah. Because what we do is there's hypnoanalysis and there's hypnotherapy. Yeah. So it's not just suggestion therapy where we're just talking to you which yeah. is still powerful which can help in hypno being hypnotized yeah, because when you're in a relaxed state the powerful suggestions do they really they do, do take root in the yeah. subconscious yeah because you could say the exact same thing consciously and you can just bat it away in your mind yeah but when you've been hypnotized and deep in trance you can say the same thing and it's just so much more powerful yeah. and takes root yeah, yeah like it's going in that, that deeper level and yeah. that's when you notice the change happening quickly exactly yeah exactly and that's why i'm i you know feel quite passionate about this because you could talk as much as you want in some yeah. talking therapies yeah and they may not have the same impacts yeah i mean it can help just to, to speak about something i mean and just get to, out, yeah. but to share your story with someone is powerful yeah There's no doubt about that but for long-term effects i don't think it's a really because you powerful saw some, thing you've saw yeah some, i i've yeah. seen a lot of counselors yeah. yeah and in the end i just thought but not it hasn't really resolved and i, f I feel better about talking about the problems yeah, but definitely. there's no long-term change and that's really what you yeah want. and i think mm. hypnotherapy the change can be really fast yeah. really quick profound yeah yeah it can be instant sometimes and i think that's what you want as well you don't want to be going to see someone for months and months you, you mm. want it to be quick you want it to be you know happening soon mm. feeling them changes and knowing that the problem is getting resolved yeah. so you feel happier than like say so you're hopeful then and you know that this you know there is a solution really yeah, yeah. because yeah one of the clients that i saw very, his first time, never experienced hypnosis yeah. before, and he trusted me, so um, he was w willing to go through that process. And the biggest thing for him, he came to just just to relax. Yeah. So I asked him if that's all we do today. Is that okay? So it's completely okay. So we did that for about twenty minutes yeah. or so, and then w when he opened his eyes, he was like, he just seemed so relaxed, so serene. But he, and I asked him, what did you get most out of today? And it was, I've actually got hope. For the first time yeah. in about 15 years, I've got hope that this issue can be resolved for me. And yeah. that's massive. That is that's amazing, massive. isn't it? Is amazing. Yeah. it, really it is amazing. Yeah, because it gives them the, the faith then, doesn't it, that, yeah. it, that it is going to be solved and not just getting sort of palmed off with things that exactly. aren't working. Exactly, when you go to a doctor, yeah. you can be palmed off or you, t you feel or a they can only crisis, offer you the same the thing, same thing again, and again and again. An antidepressant. Or, or the counselling. And if you've tried all of them things, then you want something you else. You want something else. If yeah. it's not worked, you want something else. Yeah. Definitely. So yeah. this is usually the last results. This is a something else that you could possibly consider. Definitely, yeah. If you've tried other routes, then they haven't worked. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth a try. Because we've yeah. experienced it. We know how powerful it is for ourselves. Yeah. yeah which is amazing. Yeah. Um, so just for the few final words then, um, you know, if you want to talk about your practice, because you've three years now you've got yeah, your hypnosis. Yeah, in yeah. Waterloo, yeah. In Waterloo. Um, it's in Waterloo and Liverpool. Um, and I'm just really passionate about it because it worked for me. Because I know a lot of people go to the doctors, they don't want to take medication. They want a solution. They don't just want to cover up the problem, which medication does. They want a solution and this does offer a solution and it's lovely to work with people and I've seen the results for myself so I know that it works and it's really powerful and it's lovely to be able to help people change their lives which is what I want to do it's, it's changed my life and it's lovely that I can be I can help other people change their lives too so it's 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 a lovely feeling yeah that's great yeah that's great well Sarah is a great hypnotherapist so if you're ever in Liverpool or you're based in Liverpool and you do want to see a hypnotherapist, then I couldn't recommend her more. 
She's very highly qualified and very professional and oh, you do you. get results. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you found it really wonderful. It was great having you here today. Oh, so thank, thank you. you again. Thanks a lot. And so goodbye for now.